Now, talking about your character in the film and the seasoning house, yeah, yeah. now he's not the nicest guy, is he? Can we say that? He's not someone you fight around to your mum, so. <laughs> Did you have any kind of inspiration for how you were going to play him? Did you do any research or anything like that? Yeah, well, yeah, I always dig very deeply into what I'm looking at here, you know. I mean, everything about where they are from, the Bosnian thing, the whole accent, the whole rhythm. It's about changing your rhythms to suit where these guys come from and they can be very very dangerous people by being very very still as we know and they have a stillness about them they're not they're not particularly manic in any way and I just studied guys on TV and watched a lot of documentaries as well I, I looked at interviews with uh, um, the guy that ended up getting uh, assassinated oh, Arkan I watched him and that was really fascinating because this was a guy who had an extremely baby face and a very, very soft voice. And yet he was just frightening. I mean, like, super frightening. It's that kind of gentleness that's almost super frightening. So I watched a lot of that, and it was more to do with not necessarily picking up on a voice or anything like that, but just a rhythm and a tone and a feeling of them. I read that Paul had actually written this part especially for you. I mean, what is it like having something written for you like that? Yeah, well, we, we I mean, Paul and I have known each other. We go back, it's got to be 16, 17 years now. It's a long time. And in the early days when he, we, he was doing special effects makeup on me or whatever it might have been, what we, whatever we were working on, he always said to me, Kevin, we, I, I'm going to make a movie one day, I'm going to make my own movie one day and we're going to do it together. And, and so, yeah, and he just called me up and said, OK, let's go. And uh, he actually sent me the, the, the script of Black Sight as well, which was the film that he originally wanted to start off doing. But I think everybody knew that that was needed a much, much bigger budget and um, so we'll see. Does it put added pressure on you as an actor when someone sends something especially for no. you? That's twice that's happened now and it's actually quite a thrill. I, I don't really, uh, I just like to sort of do my thing, you know, I like, I like to be, I mean in all honesty I'm probably Paul's perfect weapon because I'm not someone who likes to be directed too much. I like to just let it free wheel. I mean, for me, moving camera is all about catching, catching some sort of magic. And if you just let it go, just let it happen as it happens. That's the way I like to work, yeah. I don't like rehearsals. I don't like rehearsing too much and doing all that. I hate all that, so, yeah. I mean, what was your favorite scene as an actor in the film? In this one? Um, gosh. They were all pretty good. I mean, they're very, very different because it changes as the film goes on. There's a, I mean, Rosie and I have some fantastic scenes together early on in the film. And then uh, a film I haven't seen yet, by the way, so it's the first time I'll see it tonight. And then, of course, it gets slightly a little bit more kind of intense and, and energetic when Sean comes along and it all starts to get a bit. But I love the scene as well with Sean and I, the conversation that we have over the brandy at the table in, in, in my so-called office in this house. That was, that was great to do that. And, and Sean and I get on really well and he's, you know, you know, he's a real pro and you just, you know, it's great because you just get on with it and it's great when you have that around you. Yeah, it's great.